Hello, Jefferson. The lesson for today is on camera composition. Most of us, when we take pictures, we like to shoot straight at the subject, like what you see right here. It's the courthouse in DeKalb County. I've taken a straight-on shot. It's a really pretty building, and it's a nice picture. You've got plenty of blue sky up here at the top. But when you shoot things from straight on, looking right at it, it's kind of flat. I want to show you how I can make this picture pop a little bit more, just by shooting from the side of the courthouse. I like this image better. We see not just the front of the building, but the side as well. Anytime you see two sides of something, it makes it more three-dimensional. I also like the depth that's added by this tree in the front. It makes the picture seem a little deeper, a little bit more 3D, a little bit more alive. There's a little popcorn stand downtown, and every time I see it, it's just so adorable. It's so incredibly small town. I wanted to take a picture of the sign. This is a good one because we have a nice exposure over the sign. We can read it. We can see what's going on. But I took the same picture from another angle, and I like it a lot better. Let's take a look at it, and I'll tell you why. As you look at the second image, we still have a very legible sign. But I like how the darkness, how the shadows under the sign make it pop a little bit more. It draws your eyes to the light part of the screen. Sometimes you can use contrast in your photos to tell the audience, no, don't look here, look up there. Shooting the same thing from two or three different directions can often give you several different pictures to choose from. Let me show you another one that I really like. There's a hotel in downtown Auburn that has this great neon sign. It looks like something out of the 1940s. It's a really neat sign and some really cool concrete work on the front of the building. Let me show you what I mean. The Auburn Hotel. I like this picture because you can see in the lettering how it's weathered and old and it has that really rough texture kind of look. There's color variations. There's lots of lines. It's on a Dutch tilt. It's a really engaging picture. But I walked around downtown, took a few pictures, and then I came back and shot the front of this building again. I like the second one even better. Let's look at it and I'll tell you why. Same sign from a different angle. We still have that really rough, weathered look through the middle of the sign. But I like the darkness that's added by this triangle of the overhang and the bricks here the bricks here, and you can also see the very edge of the sign I just showed you. Also, the brightness of what's going on back here sucks you into the darkness here. There's more contrast. I like this picture better than the first one. This one I like for the color, but I have to make a confession. It's a filter. Once you load things into photos, if you click on edit, check your filters out. I've got this one set on Chrome. The original photo looks like this. It's a little darker, but as you scroll through the different filters, you know, here you have black and white. Here there's a little bit more. Here you have black and white, high contrast. Black and white, not so much contrast, so the darks aren't quite so dark. Really, really dark black and white. This one's called Fade. This one's called Chrome. This is the one I chose. Why did I choose it? Because it makes the purples and the reds pop. Look at each one and see which one you like better. That's nice too. But I think I like that one. Yeah, a little better because it gives us more color on the purple. So many choices when you put this stuff together. One more example of how shooting something straight on can make it kind of boring. There's a little newspaper downtown, the Evening Star, established 1871. It feels all historical and stuff. So I took this straight-on shot of their little plaque right in front of their building. It's okay. It's decent. I love the texture that the shadows coming through the trees cast on the sign. But I like the next one a little bit better. I'll show you why. This one has a little bit more of a Dutch tilt to it, and there's more sunshine on it. It's easier to read than the last picture we looked at. So everything's a little different. Play around with it. Take a ton of photos. Pick the ones you like the best and use those for your projects.